In almost every country around the world, rates of overweight and obesity and diabetes are growing rapidly. In fact, in many parts of the world, the rates of diabetes have already become much higher than in the United States and Europe. Uh, a glycemic index and glycemic load are in most places contributing to this problem because diets are moving away from traditional foods and becoming more refined, more industrialized, higher in white flour and sugar. And we know that those are very important fuels for diabetes. Also, in most parts of the world, people are becoming less active. And that is a very combination. When we're less active, we put on a little bit more weight, and then we eat these large amounts of sugar and white flour. That is the perfect recipe for diabetes. Uh, the good news is that we know that we can prevent almost all of diabetes, type 2 diabetes, by our diet and lifestyle. Of course, it's not always easy to do that because the best foods aren't available, the places to be physically active uh, are not always available. But there are some uh, simple things that we can do to reduce our risk. First of all, not smoking and being physically active is very important. We can't forget about that. But in terms of our diet, there are several important ways to reduce our risk. Uh, the type of carbohydrate is very important. So instead of eating white flour, white pasta, uh, and uh, foods high in sugar, especially uh, soda and beverages high in sugar, we should be eating whole grain pasta, uh, white or whole grain uh, bread uh, and instead of the refined versions, and definitely having other beverages instead of uh, sugar sweetened beverages like. Uh, uh, tea, coffee, uh, a little bit of wine now and then, uh, all of those are not bad. Then, in addition to those, uh, eating healthier fats, and for Italy that's pretty natural because olive oil is one of the healthiest possible types of fat, but uh, using that instead of animal fats, uh, eating plenty of fruits and vegetables will help reduce diabetes risk, and also eating just small amounts of red meat or not eating red meat at all. Uh, and when we put all those together, it can prevent more than 90% of type 2 diabetes. Yes, this is almost an entirely preventable disease.